What is up everybody, Blue Dog 35 here. I am going to cut open an oil filter. This is the oil filter that came off of the engine with the rod knock. Um, it is a Bosch 3310. Um, not really sure of every application, but I'm assuming every Subaru. Uh, every EJ series Subaru at least, because they're kind of like, you know, all like that. But anyways, uh, this is a Dremel tool. And if you've never seen one, welcome to, uh, you know, reality. Well, welcome to the world. Um, this is a easy lock cutting tool or cutting bit. It's like a little chuck that you can, you know, easy, uh, easy change and all that stuff. So um, I tried with a hacksaw because uh, I have a little, this is my hacksaw. It's a little close quarters thing and it sucks. Um, <laughs> I got it at like AutoZone for like six bucks. But anyways, um, I'm going to cut this open, use eye protection um, if you choose to do this yourself, and be very, very careful. The Dremel, uh, actually, sorry, the Dremel spins this way, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold it in my left hand, and I'm going to cut like this. So that's what I'm going to do, because I am left-handed, and I'm going to use a low speed, so uh, sorry for the noise, I'll probably uh, edit the sound down in post. So, here we go. After I wipe the sweat from my eye. Holy crap. Yeah. We, uh, we don't want that to happen while I'm doing this because I'll lose a finger. Now when you're doing something like this, it's very, very uh, important to have a steady hand. Um, you should probably use a hacksaw, um, you know, like a, a real big hacksaw, and just kind of go around the edge. Um, a Dremel is kind of a little bit overkill, so, uh, you know, uh, take from me, don't really use a Dremel. <laughs> um, mainly because these bits can, or these uh, discs can shatter. And if one of these shatters and, you know, you're looking at it or, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, in the, in the wrong way, you can end up with like shrapnel wounds and that's not really fun picking little pieces of, um, you know, carbon or whatever this is, uh, out of your body. So, uh, what I'm doing is, um, I'm cutting at an angle. I'm cutting at like this. My eyes are this way. So... I'm cutting at like almost like a 45 degree angle so the sparks and all that stuff are going away and that way um, it's not you know foolproof because you know sparks do come my way and stuff um, but just be careful use common sense um, I've done this a bunch of times and uh, if something stupid happens then we'll have it on camera for all to uh, laugh at <laughs> so I'm gonna continue
Alright, so, now that that's done, uh, this is the bottom, um, slightly warm, but uh, this is the part that you screw on and it goes on this way. Uh, there's like a baffle in here. Actually, is this? No, this is actually solid, solid, uh, solid metal right here. At least, I think it is. Um, usually they have like a, some sort of, that could be this, they have some sort of baffle that uh, keeps everything like in place. But this is the filter element itself. This is uh, what I was after. And what I'm going to do is, um, since it was like this, and since I ground around the outer edge, I kept a relatively smooth uh, grind, relatively even. <laughs> <clears throat> it's not perfect, but you know it, it'll it'll do. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up around here. I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the outer shell and the bottom here, and I'm just gonna get to this. And what I want to do is uh, get my magnet, and I have a little magnet on a stick. And I just want to see if anything moves or anything, you know, does anything, because. Uh, I ran a magnet through the the oil and it didn't really prove anything or it didn't really uh, you know nothing nothing really came of it so I um, I would like to do that and then uh, if it boils down to it I'm going to physically go through the media myself um, by hand and see if there's anything in there but if I just kind of tap this out, um, where is my magnet? There it is. <clears throat> I just have this cheap telescopic magnet on a stick, and I don't see anything moving aside from the little particles that are on. This is all just uh, bits of oil filter that I have um, uh, dremeled off. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this contaminated um, paper here. And I'm just going to hold it and run it around. Now I know there's going to be some because I know not every single last bit of um, metal could be uh, kept out of it when I dremeled it, when I dr uh, cut it open. But if I just go like this and there is anything bearing material or anything um, in here, there should be at least a little. And I honestly don't see anything. There, There is some, there's a very fine, but it doesn't look like bearing material to me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off, which is the, uh, the little pinch for the filter element. And then, we're going to go ahead and, where's my pliers? I have a set of needle nose pliers here. Um, we'll see if we can get this thing to come apart. Maybe I'll just have to, I'll just go through it by hand like this and see if I see anything. I'm sorry that the camera can't really see. See, the only thing is, if there is any metal or anything, it's going to be on the inside of these little flutes. So, um, I think what I'll do is I'll tear off a couple because they do just tear right off. I just heard screeching tires. So we'll see if there's anything in here. It's just a cardboard element or paper element, really. And actually, it seems like all the grit is on the outside. So that's a little bit uh, backwards from the way that I thought oil filters worked, but 
<laughs> that picked up. I'm not really seeing anything. I'm going to hold it taut like this and run my magnet over it and see. Oh, I see something. I see a couple little things wiggling around. I'm not sure. I don't know how good the macro is on this. But let me... I don't even know if it's picking it up. But I'm running the magnet around behind this. And I don't know if you can see anything or not. But there's, I think, that little shiny piece. I'll put an arrow on the screen where it is. But that... I don't know if that's part of the uh, the opening process or if that is um, if that is uh, bearing material. So I will just have to keep looking. Really, um, I'm gonna go ahead and rip some more out of here and see what happens. See if we can get a bigger bigger chunk out. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, so this was the outside. And we will unfurl it here. There's a thing for everyone to see. Is that... Yeah, that was... That is a mail truck. Look at that. And yeah, there's a whole bunch. It's all really small particles. But there is a lot of little bits moving. They're all like really, really shiny though. So I'm not sure. And to be honest, they all look like little slivers. I don't really know if it's you know, results of the opening or if it's actually bearing material. I wish I could tell because uh, that would give me proper um, I guess uh, closure? I don't know. Uh, that's probably not the right word. But I don't really know and I'm going to sneeze any moment. That was fun. So, let's try this again as it starts to drip. There we go. A lot of friggin' police cars that I'm hearing. Maybe somebody robbed the bank again in Shimokin. There's a, uh, there's a bank down the street, like, literally a couple blocks from me that, uh, that's been robbed like three or four times in the last month. So if you're gonna commit a uh, a robbery, do it in Shimokin. All right, so there's a few particles here. I haven't put the magnet to them yet, but there's a few particles here. Uh, I'll put an arrow on the screen to them uh, in this groove and this groove, and we'll see if they're magnetic or not. They don't seem to be. No. They're not. They're not magnetic. So, that's uh, that's good news. It's bad news that whatever the hell that is was floating through my engine. But, it is good news that they're not magnetic. It, they almost, it almost looks like carbon. Like it looks like a like carbon buildup that fell off the... Uh, the inside of the piston or something. Let me, uh, yeah, there, it's not magnetic at all, so that's good. That's a plus. Um, although there's something right here that looks questionable that I didn't run the magnet over. And, no, surprisingly. So here's what I'm going to do. I know it's kind of out of shot, but 
I'm gonna see if this does anything. See if that picks up anything. That really didn't pick up anything. So, uh, there's a chance that it may not have been rod knock. It could have been like piston slap or something. That still would have killed the engine eventually, so I am glad I pulled it and, you know, I'm in the process of rebuilding it. It just sucks that I'm, you know, out of the car for so long. Uh, but it's what I wanted to do in the end anyway. I was going to source another engine and rebuild it, like, from the ground up. Um, that's, uh, I don't know. I haven't really found anything that's, you know, absolutely, uh, concrete solid yet. Um, homebrew, if you watch this, I don't know if you will, I don't know how you, uh, if you keep up with all my stuff yet, or anymore, but, uh, if you watch this, and also, uh, Senseless Tuning, um, if you guys happen to see this, let me know if you think this stuff is remnants of the Dremel, because there's a bit right here that I know is going to be magnetic, so that's flopping around, and then just more of that carbon stuff, and then all the bits that I see moving are actually shiny, so I don't know, you know, I really don't know. Although, I will say this bit right here kind of looks like bearing material. Um, here we go. Right there on the crest, right there. The, the silver bit right there. That does look like bearing material, but... There we go, I got it on my thumb. I don't really know. I mean, it could also be very, uh, recently liberated, um, you know, <laughs> filter housing. So, I guess results inconclusive, maybe? So, um, yeah, your guess is as good as mine. But then again, I mean, it wasn't absolutely horrendous, the sound. So, an autopsy of the engine will uh, will be in order. That is not going to come for a little while, though. Um, it's actually still on the stand behind me. And, um, yeah, so this uh, rambling useless video is rambling and useless, but uh, at least it's something. <laughs> and it's something car-related. I am going to uh, leave you guys with a sneak peek of something that um, I have acquired and it's going to change a lot of my channel not not change a lot but it's gonna change how I do like vlogs and how I do um, you know stuff like uh, uh, b-roll and all that stuff so hopefully um, Hopefully it's something that uh, everyone will enjoy, because I think it'll up my quality of uh, video and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, still got to work on the host, because, you know, ums and ahs and Danic Patrick and all that stuff. But anyways, um, coming soon.